Hi, my name's Chai. I'm a product manager with Rely on Battery. In this week's Tech Team video, we're covering lithium performance graphs, part two of our datasheet series. Discharge voltage characteristics at various rates. Because it's a recurring theme throughout these charts, we'll start by defining what C rating is. Simply stated, C is the capacity of the battery. The RB100 is a 100 amp hour battery, so discharging at 1C would be 100 amps and would take about an hour. Discharging at 0.2C would be 20 amps and take about five hours. The discharge voltage characteristics chart shows that under a 1C load, the RB100 will maintain over 11.5 volts out to about 97% depth of discharge. This is important because most electronics that are powered by a 12 volt battery require over 10.5 volts to function properly. Discharge voltage characteristics at various temperatures. All batteries perform better the warmer it gets, and the optimal operating temperature for lithium that delivers its rated capacity and prolongs its life is in the 75 to 80 degree Fahrenheit range. A common misconception is that lithium batteries don't perform well in cold weather, but as can be seen from the voltage at various temperatures chart, a 12 volt rely on life PO4 battery will deliver up to 90% of its rated capacity in temps as low as 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and 80% of its rated capacity in temps as low as 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Please take note, charging is a little different and rates must be reduced to prevent cell damage in temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Charge voltage characteristics at various temperatures. The charge voltage characteristics at 0.2C chart shows that the batteries will reach 100% state of charge rather consistently regardless of temperature. Again, please take note that charging rates must be reduced to prevent cell damage in temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Charge voltage and state of charge. The charge voltage and state of charge chart shows that from zero, a full charge at 0.2C can be attained in just about five hours. Conversely, lead acid batteries take anywhere from 12 to 16 hours to charge. So lithium charges four to six times faster than a comparable lead acid battery, and you can discharge it fully without permanently damaging the cells. Cycle life versus depth of discharge. Many users have a hard time justifying the cost of lithium over lead acid. However, our cycle life versus depth of discharge chart highlights the longevity of lithium. The RB100 will last just under 4,000 cycles when discharged 100%, 7,600 cycles when discharged 80%, and approximately 13,500 cycles when discharged to 50%. Compare this to a Group 31 AGM battery that when discharged to 80% will last 400 cycles, or when discharged to 50% will last 800 cycles. In the overall comparison, considering charging, longevity, and zero maintenance, lithium actually costs less than sealed or flooded lead acid batteries. Capacity of rely on life PO4 versus lead acid at various rates of discharge. With lithium, what you put in is what you get out, regardless of how fast you do it. Looking at the capacity at various rates, green line, an RB100 will provide 100 amp hours, whether you discharge at 10 amps or 100 amps. The only variable is how long the battery will take to fully discharge. In comparison, discharging a lead acid battery at higher rates can result in a 30 to 40% reduction in capacity when discharging at that higher rate. This is why most of the time you can get away with about half the amount of lithium capacity compared to lead acid. This concludes our review of data sheets. We hope you found it informative. If you have any questions on the content we've covered, please don't hesitate to call, email, or reach out to us on social media. Thanks for watching.